hello guys and in this lecture i will show you the flutter ios setup with mac in this lecture we will cover these points so first we install the flutter sdk and then set flutter sdk path installation and xcode setup and finally set up the ios simulator so all these points we will cover in this lecture so let's begin so click on the browser and type here flutter so we click on the install and here official document of the flutter will be open so this lecture we are creating on the mac os so we just click on the mac os so here all the instructions of the mac os is given so first we will check the system requirement so this is the minimum requirement and your system must meet these minimum requirements so first is the operating system so your operating system of mac os is version 10.14 or later so how we can check the version of the mac os machine so we just click on this apple icon and check here about this mac so here you can check the system configuration of your system suppose this time we are using here sonama 14.0 so we just close this so here is tools and it is showing that flutter uses git for installation and upgrade so we recommend install xcode which includes git but you can install git separately if you want you just click on this link and here we just run this command if you want to install the git with homebrew but the git is already installed in my system so i will not install the git here so next is the get the flutter sdk so here two icons is given one is for the intel and second is for apple silicon so this time we are using intel processor so how we can check that we are using intel processor or apple silicon means m1 or m2 chip processors we just click on the apple icon and click here so here you can check that suppose here quad core intel core i7 so this is the intel processor so you can check here your system type so we just click on this so installation is begin here so it can take some time so it will depend on the speed of the internet so we will wait for it and after the completion of the download i will meet you a few moments later so now flutter sdk download has completed we extract the downloaded folder so first of all we go inside the download and check that flutter sdk has downloaded here so we will create a new folder inside the documents and name here development and just close it so you can unzip the flutter sdk with the double click on it or you, if you want to unzip this sdk with the command lines so we simply open here terminal increase the size of the terminal here and go inside document and development and we want to unzip the downloaded sdk here so we just copy this command and we type here so again here we check the name of the flutter sdk is same with the downloaded zip or not so we check here so this is the name 3.1.6.1 so this is also the same name so we can use it if this is different so we rename it we can change the name here so but this time we are using the current version of the flutter sdk so this name is same so we just enter here so it will take few minutes and after this it will unzip this folder so now we will check the unzip folder inside document and development so flutter folder is showing here so again add the flutter tool to your path so basically this is the command set the path variable for the current terminal window only to permanent add flutter to your path so we will click here suppose we want to check the path of the flutter so we clear this terminal here and suppose we want to check where the sdk is exist so we will type here which flutter 
so here is showing flutter not found because we did not set the path of the flutter yet so we just copy this command and type here so now the path of the flutter has set but it is not permanent so again i check which flutter so it's showing the exact path of the flutter bin folder so actually this is not a permanent suppose i want to check this path inside the new terminal so i am opening here new terminal and type here which flutter so here flutter not found because this path will work only for this window so here this path variable will set on this window only so permanent add the flutter to your path so we click here and set the path variable according to given instructions so first of all determine the path of the flutter sdk so you know that actually this is the path of the flutter sdk we have added inside the document and development folder so we will use echo cell command in the terminal and tells you which cell we are using suppose i am typing here this command and this command is showing that we are using zsh so we can also check here which terminal we are using at the top of the terminal here so zsh is showing here so if you are using bash profile then you will follow this instructions but this time we are using the zsh so we will follow this instructions so we set and edit the zsh profile at the home directory so we are now at the development folder so we go at the home directory and here ls command and check that zsh rc is already exist or not this command will show the hidden files also the zsh profile is already exist here so if this file is not showing in your system you can create with touch command suppose i am deleting this and create again so for this we will type here sudo rm for the file we will type here rf and zsh rc yeah so now again check yeah so now zsh rc file is not showing here so we can create this with the touch yeah so now again zsh rc is showing here so we can open it and add here the given path so we will copy this path here and just type here actually this is the path of the git directory inside the flutter so we just go inside the development inside the flutter and bin and copy the flutter path so we just right click and press here option so we just copy the flutter as a path name so here we remove and paste here type here bin and we just save it so just control x so we type here yes so we can also check the zhrc file again open yeah so path is actually not showing here yeah so path is actually not set accurately so we again run the nano command here so we press here command plus o for write out press the tab for complete so now the sdk path is showing here so we close it and close this and we just run this command for 
refreshment so we just so if path is not showing you can run this command for the refreshment so we can verify after running this command echo path so all the path will be show here so the flutter path is also showing here so it means that path is set accurately so now we can run this command which flutter yeah so now flutter sdk path is showing here so now we set the platform setup create the flutter app for ios android and mac os itself and the web also so here we are creating this lecture for ios only so install the xcode so for installing the xcode we just install the xcode from the web download so if you have a apple developer account so you can click on this link and login inside the developer apple account and you can download it or the another option is that you can directly click here mac app store and you will open the app store here and we can download here so i have already downloaded xcode so if you did not download so you can download here so you will see here the download button so you will just click on the download and download will be started so it will take some time so after this xcode will be downloaded and show in your application folder so the next is that we configure the xcode command line tool to use install version and run the following commands so we just copy these commands and just type here so here we will type the system password so you will type here your own system password and open the terminal and again run this command sudo xbuild license this command is for the xcode license agreement so we just type this command also so all the instructions is given here after running this command so you will just type here agree and cancel so we just type here agree and type here enter so the license agreement will be added in your xcode dot app dot contents you can see here your license agreement so next we set up the ios simulator so for download the xcode simulator we just copy this command and run here it will download the simulator so it will take some time and ios 17.0.1 simulator will be downloaded a few moments later so finally simulator has downloaded after running this command you can face this type of issue you can face so if you face this type of issue you will just run this command again and finally it will be done now we start the simulator and run the command so we just copy this command open a simulator and paste here and after this we enter so the simulator will be open here so the latest simulator iphone 15 pro max will be open here if you have installed the latest xcode so now we check the next commands yeah so here the simulator is opened and here set your simulator to use 64 bit device iphone 5s or later you can use here the another option is given that from xcode we just type here xcode and inside the xcode we go inside the product and destination so this is the product and here is the destination so you can choose your destination device here and another option is showing here if you open the simulator here and inside the file inside open simulator you can choose any other simulator if you want so you can choose suppose this time we are using iphone 15 pro max so if you want any other simulator you can select from here and suppose if you want to check the version of the simulator so you just 
go inside the simulator inside the setting and you just need to click on the journal and here about so you can check here all detail of the simulator so you can change here the physical size of the simulator go inside the home and if you press here command plus one so this is the big size and if you click again here cmd plus two so it is a big size compared to cmd plus one and if you type here cmd plus three so it is biggest size compared to other two options one and two and cmd plus four is the another normal size now open the terminal and type here flutter doctor press enter so i think it is showing some issue so we just copy this command again and press this command again yeah so now you can see here doctor found issue in three categories so all the issue is related with android studio so ios setup is now complete so now check the other steps so now check the next point so the next point is deploy to physical ios device so for deploy to physical device we must need a apple account after creating an apple account we set this account with the x code so all these points we will cover in the next video so in the next lecture we will create a first flutter app and will run with x code and deploy with physical device if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel thanks for watching